Oh wow. I went to turn down the mute the sound, the game sound, and it just went all the way up. My phone's been acting up still uh, since last night. Sometimes the uh, the keypad the keypad won't pop up. The um, and when I get notifications, when I tap to view them, it just erases them. So I have no idea what's going on. Where are we going, Sam? Oh uh, no! God dang it! It's giving me a big headache. <laughs> and when I do get a notification, it just crashes whatever app I'm on. So whatever update that I got last night just totally screws it over. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. In other news, I'm preparing for uh, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing streams. I forgot who Bliss was here. <laughs> what the heck? What is that? Keep that away from me. Relax, Bosco. It only tells how old you are. Why do you need to know that? Did someone send you to find out? Never mind. That's your problem with dating, Sam. You give up too easily. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? <laughs> <laughs> of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. I would say the first part of the direct got me really scared because they were spending a lot of time on on the beginning of the game. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> we're Brown off to the sugar. Oh boy. 
Do you also have sticky fingers? Yeah, because of how long they were talking at the tent. I was like, um, where's the house? <laughs> So excited to finally uh, change up my usual uh, robo. <laughs> but then uh, I don't know if you saw me and Tanner talking about Halloween. My whole, my whole uh, t change the time so it's Halloween in game to get Halloween items. It's just ruined. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. Trust me, trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Someone will hack the system. Figure out how to get them early. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, it turns out it was just the tr truth serum was just Sam? vodka. He was selling vodka for a million dollars. <laughs> We're off to the White House. Uh, I'm told vodka is really like one of the lightest drinks you can have, so... needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Max says you can take a vacation. We will make an exception, just this once. Thank you, sir, but no can do. I can only take a vacation on federal holidays. Okay, so we have to make it a federal holiday. It's the official United States calendar. Well, but the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! We now declare today April 8th, Easter Sunday. Right, we better start hiding eggs on the White House lawn. Already did it, Sam. Max, are these the eggs that are made of metal and shaped like a pineapple and have a pin in them? Don't be silly, Sam. I took the pins out first. Hey, Soups. Max says you can take a vacation. It's Easter. 
I'm not a religious man, sir. I wouldn't feel right taking a vacation unless it was a secular holiday. Wait, what? Max, it's Easter. I'm not a religious man, sir. I wouldn't feel right taking a vacation unless it was a secular holiday. What's a secular holiday? We'll be back. Roger that. Will that just be like Earth Day? Oh boy! <laughs> Secretary's Day. I like how I'm just ignoring the soda poppers. Very funny, sir. We'll be back. Run. Oh boy! I. <laughs> we now declare today April 27th, Arbor Day. Everybody, go outside today and hug a tree. Hug nothing. This year, I'm hoping to get the second day. <laughs> Secretary say, yeah. Oh if he didn't like our Earth Day, he's not going to like Arbor Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary Day. Hey, soups. You can take a vacation. It's Secretary's Day. I'm not a secretary, sir. Oh. We'll be back. Roger that. Okay, we'll talk to these guys. We probably have to make like a new holiday. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse. That's not funny. What business do you have with the president? We're all here to get him to settle the great Dakotan conflict. Whether it's better to leave by plane or just kill yourself and hope you'll be reincarnated somewhere else? No! Which state gets custody of- Spongebob Mother does. Spongebob says no to a vacation. Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism. But my plan will save lives. It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention. People will realize that just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy, they too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? Thirsty? Yes! But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, pop, some more orange soda, and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? Too <laughs> <laughs> dry, was man. Soda, right? You brought more soda. Sure, why not? Wow, that's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Emma Matt. You guys, you guys are my best friends. Now, can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Beeper's idea is stupid? Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid! He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard! Well, it is! Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little, you big, of course you realize, this means war! 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 War. What's this I hear? What wondrous thing? Oh.
stream cancelled. <laughs> Evan has beeped. How's it going, chat? Ready for this song that <laughs> gets copywritten? I love this. you let us into the war room again? Just following orders, sir. I can't let anyone into the room. No exceptions. We'll be back. Roger that. Oh, boy! We now declare today, April 3rd, the beginning of Passover. Shalom! Let my people go! So, war is happening, and he still won't let us in the war room. You can take a vacation. It's Passover. I'm not a religious man, sir. I wouldn't feel right. We'll be back. Roger that. Wait a second. Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball. Sec 
Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Now he's a secretary. We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be. Meeting our... Uh. Hey, Supes. Take a memo. <laughs> Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. Finally! There's just a dunce hat that I can't click on. These must be for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. Nice screensaver! Cookies! It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. What to do in time of war? Select target, press fire. That's all it says. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the fridge in Antarctic. So peaceful, so serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? The homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. It's the distant people <laughs> of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! This'll teach them to put me in the Phantom Zone. Better pull up a chair, little buddy. Well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting historical destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. Oops. <laughs> Bosco shoppers, clean up in aisle everything. Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe, but for how long? Hmm. garden pond. It's Jimmy too cheap. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. Whee! That war we had to find a way to get target... Uh, oh! Whatever, what, here, here's the idea. We go to Bosco's. And I'm guessing whatever was, uh, there's probably something there that is, is making his place a target. We take that and then we put it on Lincoln. Oh, I just noticed. <laughs> Back to the office. Shotgun. Ha. <laughs> 
I just noticed the card changed. I think one of the episodes of the cartoon has him in the kitty seat. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. I freaking saw an advertisement for the box set on Amazon, and I I was like, no, I'm not even going to look and see how much it is. <laughs> After that rampaging Lincoln, yes. It's all on YouTube, anyways. It is. It even has like the uh, comic book art on it, so it looks so nice and pretty. Max say. You forgot. <laughs> Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He gets, you're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? <laughs> we don't want to miss this. Oh yes, let's get super close to the thing that's about to get hit by a missile. is saved, at least for mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down at the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles reports query status. Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged. It was the Washington Monument. <laughs> they have multiples. <laughs> Those two crack me up.
see. Sam and Max episode five. There we go. Update. me like half a minute Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS.